Hey everyone, Dendrite here, back with another quick hit tutorial, and today we're going to be quickly going over a tool called GoSpider, which is a spidering framework written in Go. So what a web spider is, is essentially a program designed to traverse web pages and gather information by following links on a website that helps map out the structure of a website and that can be used for various purposes like web indexing, data collection, site auditing, or in our case, bug bounty and ethical hacking. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm in my Kali Linux virtual machine and by far the easiest way to install it is with the apt package manager. So open up your terminal and just type in the command sudo apt install go spider. If you're familiar with Git and you're comfortable using uh, GitHub and Git clone and those kinds of things, you can go over to the GitHub for the project and just copy and paste the go install instructions to install it that way. You can install it using Docker and I believe a couple of other ways. I'm not going to go into that just for the sake of time, but that is an option there if you need it. So now it's time for us to actually run GoSpider and I'm going to copy and paste an example command straight from the GitHub repo. But before I hit run, I just want to do a quick rundown of the command syntax and why we're doing what we're doing. First things first, we need to specify the name of the tool itself, GoSpider. Dash S stands for the site we want to scan, in this case, google.com. Dash O specifies the name of the output directory that will be created to store the scan results. Dash C stands for concurrent requests, so the amount of requests that will be running at any given time. And dash D stands for the depth to which the crawler is going to crawl google.com. So without further ado, I'll hit go on this one. And this can take some time to run, so I'm going to pause the video here and then we can come back in just a moment and review the results. The scan has completed now and looking at the results, it was able to scrape quite a lot of data from google.com. As for what we can do with the scraped data, well, it helps us map the application. It can help us get a sense of what technologies might be in use on a website. It can uncover directories that we can feed to other tools like SQL map and GoBuster and WFuzz for further scanning. In short, there are loads of things you can do with it, and it is more than I can cover in this single video, but I'll be making more videos on those different topics in future. Well everyone, that's it for this tutorial on GoSpider. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.